Hi, how are you? It's Dravsimir, and welcome back to our adventures in Azeroth. Last episode, we slayed some Pterodaxes and found the hottest point in Angoro Crater. And today, we are going to be doing a quest for Larion. Let's have a chat with him. No. Ugh, these pests keep me busy night and day. Haven't you seen them? I wish I could just jump down a pipe to get away from them. Well, he kind of does look like Mario. I must say. That would be, uh, I guess, a Mario transmog. He just needs that. Larion and Muijin. See Muijin over there? It's his fault we're lost. I'm the one that knew the way, but he insisted he knew a shortcut, and we ended up here. To make matters worse, now he keeps sending his crazy plants pests to annoy me. I'm so angry that I'm not planning on talking to him anytime soon, but these pests are too much to handle. Why don't we try to limit his supply? First thing, go out and hunt some blood petals and return to me. Keep your feet on the ground. All right, so let's go do that. We'll go hunt some blood petals. I guess these blood pests don't count. I need a picture of this guy. Since he kind of looks like Super Mario. There we go. Alright, so let's go slay some of uh, these petal guys. I guess they're out in Ungoro. And we got uh, a new buff today. We got the Joyous Journeys buff. Experience gains increased by 50%. And that is given to all the players now in TBC. So that they can get a little bit of a boost. So they can get to max level. And be prepared for Wrath of Lich King. Which also got a confirmed date. Which we already knew. Which is September 26th. And yeah. We are officially somewhat in pre-patch. It's not pre-patch yet, but this is the first stage, I would say. Alright, so we're looking for these things. These blood petals. The good thing about these guys, they are docile. Or they're neutral, I guess you could say. They only attack us if we attack them. Interested to see how much XP we get. I wonder if we'll actually hit uh, level 57 today, just from doing this quest. We'll have to see. Also, my next plan is to go to the Western Plaguelands. That's where we will be going to next. And I'll be questing there and hopefully getting into uh, Blackrock Depths. Or maybe we will just become a tank and make our own group if we can't find a group to get into. All right, let's have a drink. Probably gonna end up making my own group. We'll just tank it. Because I want to do lower black rock depth so we can get the key. And then after that, we will uh, do the upper part. Alright, so we just have to slay these guys. We don't really have to pick up anything from them. Getting a decent amount of XP, like 600 from each one. We used to get 400. That one's 700. So it looks like we have to travel around on Goro and try to find all of the different um, blood petals. I think it'll be fun questing in, uh, in the Plague Lance. Gives off that you know, Wrath of Lich King vibe. Let's heal up. And I wonder when they're going to release DKs. I want to check those guys out. 
I think it would be interesting to see uh, the launch of, uh, you know, the DKs being released. Seeing, uh, you know, a zone packed full of Death Knights, death gripping everything. Oh, so we got all the flares. Now we need to find the Threshers, the Trappers, and the Lashers. I'm not sure where I'll level the DK. Thinking about going to Alliance on him. But I do plan on getting a, a DK playthrough going soon. When it comes out. I think it'd be fun. I think it's like the best time to level one too. I think I'll probably level him on, uh, on Grobulus, so we get a little bit of PvP going. Don't know what I'll play, though, what race I'll be. Doesn't really matter as a DK, because you get the same starting zone no matter what, but... I'll have to think about that. I haven't been a gnome or a human. On the Alliance side. I think I've been every other race. I've been Dwarf. I've been Draenei. I've been Night Elf. So yeah, just uh, Gnome and Human. Yeah, should we go Gnome DK? <laughs> that would be hilarious. I don't know if I'd go Gnome DK. I have to see. I'm excited. I think it's going to be like six weeks. We'll probably see the DKs coming out in September. Let's heal up. But yeah, I think we actually might get level 57 just from this quest. I think it also increases the XP you get from quests as well. It doesn't just say from monsters. And, uh... Yeah, it's 50% just in, in, like flat XP gain. So I guess it's from quests too. So yeah, we're going to get a lot of XP. Great time to be leveling a character, that's for sure. Especially if you plan on playing Wrath. And I wonder when they're going to release the, the Fresh Realms. Maybe when Wrath comes out? Because nobody can level a DK on those realms. Like, nobody can. Because you need to have a... A level 60 character to even make a DK. Supposedly. I think it's like level 55 or 60. So, there will be literally no DKs on that server for a while until somebody levels to, um, to 60 and then switches. Or 55, one or the other. Yeah, we got a lot of WoW content coming out in the next, uh, four months. Gonna be seeing, you know, Dragonflight, Wrath of Lich King. Pretty pumped up for it. Let's see if we can find some more Threshers here. And maybe we'll make our way to uh, Undercity today. Seems like we're going to um, probably do this quest pretty fast. 
I'm not really having any trouble finding these, uh, these petals. So we'll probably get this done pretty quick. We'll hearth back to Gadgetstan, and then we'll, uh, take a flight down to Ogremar, and then from Ogremar we'll take, a, a Zeppelin to Undercity. And then from there we can decide what we want to do next. It's either, you know, take a trip. I don't know, see what we want to do next. I'll probably do a quest in Western Plaguelands. And then, um... You know, just check out Western Plaguelands for maybe an episode or two. And then I'll get ready to do uh, Blackrock Depths as a tank. And maybe we can tank uh, Blackrock Depths all the way to 60. If the XP's really that good. And then uh, go through the portal after that. But I, I doubt it'll be like that. I think Blackrock Depths will probably get us a level and a half. Probably be like 58 or something like that. And then we'll just uh, maybe do a couple more dungeons or just finish it up in the Plague Lance. And then off to uh, Outland we go. Been looking forward to getting out to Outland. Okay, so now we need to find trappers. I don't know where they are, to be honest, so... I think I'm going to check out the... Uh, the western side of Angoro Crater. See if we can find any there. There's a Pterodax. Because there were the one, the ones that we, I think the flares, they were in the, the north east. So I'm guessing that the trappers will be in the southwest, in the opposite area. It's just a guess. I'm not too sure if that's right, but we'll see. What are these guys? Flares. The flares and the threshers seem to be, I mean, seem the most common, I guess. Yeah. Your two handed sword skill is getting pretty high. We're at 279. But yeah, we got a lot of leveling to do. Gonna try to take advantage of this joyous journey's buff as much as I can. And uh, the goal at the moment is to hopefully hit 70 by the time Wrath comes out. And I don't think that's gonna happen, but I think we'll at least we'll be hopefully close. We'll see. Because I do want to uh, eventually have, like, all... I want the druid, I mean, I want the shaman, the paladin, and the night elf to be coming out at the same time. I'm going to try to get back to three episodes per day. And we'll try to, uh, yeah, grind this out. Going to be checking out a bunch of the dungeons as well in TBC. We have some pretty good ones. A lot of paladins out here. There's 59. Should be going out to Outland soon. If I was right, the trappers are... In the, on the western side, but not the southwest. I guess they might be in the southwest too, but they are on the, the western side of Pangoro.
Let's have our final drink, I think. And we just got to slay two more trappers. And I don't think we're going to get uh, 57 from turning in this quest. Just fine, though, because we will be getting, you know, three bars from it. So, so I think that's pretty good. Tangling rooted. We just got a new staff. Won't be using it, but it's interesting. Got a diviner long staff with the boar. 15 spirit, 15 strength. 40 damage per second if you use it as a melee weapon. I think our weapon's much better than that. And there we go. We are done with. Uh, yeah, we're done. We still need to get our herbalism up, too. Don't have to deal with those blood petals anymore. So, let's see what our herbalism is at. 230. So I need to find a way to get that up. Maybe we'll have a couple episodes where we just run around and herb for a bit. I don't know what the best zone is. Like, I tried Tenaris, and it was pretty bad. We need to get our herbalism up to, like, 260, I think. But I'll be looking into uh, leveling it up pretty soon. Maybe that's what we should do right now. Maybe we'll just go to Gadgetstan and just do a couple of laps and just see if we can get some herbs. So I really do need to try to get that up to 300 before we head out to Outland. All right, here we are at Marshall's Refuge. Go talk to Mario over here. What's on your mind? Thanks for your help, Travadin, but I'm afraid I have some bad news. I managed to spy on what Uljin was doing, and he's actually growing the darn things over there. I think the only solution here is to no, not go talk to him. What are you thinking? The solution is to fight back. We'll need to help the help of my friend Marvin, who has a shop in Ratchet. I'm sure he'll be able to create some sort of gadget that will help us. See you soon. All right, so maybe we'll uh, stop by Marvin's place while we uh, we go back to um, Ogremar. Take a quick pit stop at Marvin's. Yeah, we're one bar away from... Level 57. But I'm going to go on a little little lap here. We're going to see if we can get some, some herbs. How's our... Yeah, our bags are alright. For now. It's enough space to get some herbs. So we'll see if we can get some herbs. We'll do a little bit of a lap here. We need to get our herbalism up. I want to be at least 300 by the time we... Uh, Head out to Outland. Always trying to catch up here. Our alchemy's at a good spot, though. Actually, no, that's on the Shaman we upgraded. We actually have to update our alchemy, too. That's something we'll probably do when we get to Undercity. Or Ogremar. We'll probably go to Ogremar and do a little bit of alchemy. Level that up. Get our professions in check. Yeah, we got a lot to do on this character. <laughs> There's a lot to do. <laughs> but it's going to be worth it. I'm 
Okay, well, we haven't found one single herb yet. This is a lot. The same thing happened to me last time I was in Tenaris. Literally can't find a single herb. It's a, it's a desert, though. Like, it shouldn't be a good herb spot anyways. Maybe we'll just do, like, a quick lap, and then if this doesn't work out... I can just, uh... Maybe we'll just go to the Hinterlands. Maybe the Hinterlands will be a better place for us. To level up our herbalism. Because it is a desert. It shouldn't be good. But sometimes you catch, uh... Catch the odd fire bloom. I just thought since we're in Tenaris, maybe we can get our... There we go. Caught one. This should give us uh, a level here. We'll get to 231. I think there's another one over there. It's good that we found one. Really like Tenaris. Pretty cool zone. Look, another paladin. Everybody's leveling paladins. <laughs> this is hilarious. I don't think anyone's gonna have trouble finding paladins for their raids. If you need a tank, you won't have any trouble. Same with healers. Unless all of them want to play rat. Alright, so we did a little bit of a lap here. Another thing is, this server's pretty populated, so... We could uh, run into some competition when we're trying to uh, level up our herbalism. There's probably a lot of people getting their professions ready. For Wrath of Lich King. Alright, so here we go. Let's uh, head over to the Flight Guy. We'll make our way to Ratchet, turn this quest in quick. And then from Ratchet, we will make our way to Ogremar. And I think in Ogremar we will, um... We'll probably call it. And I think next... It's, and I, the reason why I want to call it Ogremar is because the auction house is just better. In, uh... Ogremar. It's much better. I think Undercity has the worst auction house in the game. And the reason why I say that is because it's a... It's a long trip from the auction house to the... To your bank or to your mailbox so it's just better to do that profession stuff in Ogremar yeah we're going to take a flight over here The sky looks pretty cool. It's got like a yellow hue. Oh, it's raining. Raining at Theramore Isle. 
Went from like beautiful skies right into the worst weather. It's too bad. But at least we got a plan now. I think I'll only get our alchemy up to like 230. Because there's no point in um, just waste, just selling the herbs that we get from uh, from gathering and getting our herbalism up. We'll most likely do that while we level. Be good to catch it up a little bit before we get back to questing. I kind of wish I did it a little earlier, to be honest. We did try, though. I did a couple of laps at Tanaris. It's just you barely get anything there. So. It's not a great place to level your herbalism, I must say. I wonder if the Barrens is raining, too. Yeah, I can't wait to get back into Blackrock Depths. That dungeon is a lot of fun. Yep, not raining in the Barrens. That's good. The boat to Booty Bay is just pulling up now. Alright, so here we are in Ratchet. So who do we have to ch talk to? This guy named... Doesn't really tell us where he is. Marvin's Workshop? Travel to Marvin Riveteer's Workshop. Right, let's see if we can find Marvin. Suppose he's in this little hut here. Time is money, friend. Okay. Marvin's Workshop. Marvin's been gone quite a long time now, Travadin. He went off to Denaris to study some of the ancient troll ruins. Now, what is it you said you needed? You're in luck, Travadin. I've been working on some of my own experiments while Marvin's been gone, and one of them is a short-range bug zapper. With just a few adjustments, it should be great for ridding yourself of those blood petal pests. I can let you have one of my zapper prototypes, but you'll still need to collect the fuel. You can get the necessary Atali Haze that the Zapper needs in the Temple of Atalakar. The Deep Lurkers, Mark Worms, or Oozes are the ones you'll need to get it from. Glad I could help. Okay, so it looks like we'd have to go into a dungeon, which is the Atalakar dungeon, to finish this. Kind of wish we did this earlier, but it's like we can't even queue for that because we're too high of a level. It's no big deal. So whatever, probably won't do that quest. But at least we got to turn it in to see what it was all about. Alright, so off to Ogremar we go. And then... We'll try to stock up on some manas and... Get ready to level up our alchemy. Another 100 levels. And it's going to be good to do that because we will get to use some of the elixirs in the dungeons and also the the superior health potions so that'll help us you know from avoiding getting wiped in those dungeons which could happen might do some pretty big pulls I haven't been to Duratar in a long long time pretty fun zone to level in Looks like a barren wasteland, but there's a lot going on here. Like down here, there's a bunch of like thunder lizards. 
and you actually uh, have to prove yourself as a warrior by I think fighting one of these guys. It's like a warrior quest. I haven't done it in years, but I remember having to do it on my warrior. I always thought it was weird that they have the the zeppelins outside of the city. Do you think the alliance could easily just you know? Just take that down really fast. I swear they used to be in. Well, they are in here, in uh, in retail. All right, guys. Well, here we are back in Ogremar. It's packed. Got a bunch of Amani bears. Yeah, we are going to uh, to call the episode here. Next episode, we will. Get our alchemy up and make our way to Undercity and try to find a way to get our herbalism up as well. But as always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.